Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. So right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. And Usually we see here. runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy is setting the tone early, running through all types of tackles and putting the defense back on its heels. And they'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Throwing on first down is Brady. To Evans on the slant. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. A nine-yard pickup, just one yard away from three consecutive first down plays. On second down now, it's Jones. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Touchdown, Ronald Jones. 39 yards, and the Bucs have taken a first quarter lead. A nice run by him, don't get me wrong, but the blocking up front was a thing of beauty. I think for an opening drive, how about that for an exclamation point? Just what you said, good blocking, good vision, and he accelerated to the end zone. Bradley Pinion. Following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Taken about seven yards deep. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. 25-yard line. Cam going to bring the Patriots up now, first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Sony Michelle, his first carry. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. He was brought down by Lopez. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine at the 20. They'll run with a former Super Bowl hero. It's James White. James White. And he'll go down right at the 30-yard line. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. From the gun on third down, Newton. He's got Sanu. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it. This is Michelle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Sonny Michelle comes out of a long line of terrific running backs from the University of Georgia. It was a first-round selection for New England in 2018. He does not mind carrying the football. Never turns down an opportunity. Top 10 in rushing attempts in the league in 2019. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. First down, here's White. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. Kevin White on the tackle. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying him. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. I admit that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And able 
able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bucs take over first and 10. At Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 23. He fakes the give here and looks to throw. He completes it to Evans. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. Now we're going to get a timeout. Here's we've got an injured Buccaneer. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Number 25, LaShawn McCoy. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 45 on second down. Brady, and this is caught by Evans. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. I know this may be jumping the gun a little bit, but seven to seven, they're flinging it around like crazy. Look at the drive that's going on here. Partner, we may have to start thinking about one of these defenses just holding someone to a field goal and maybe trying to get an advantage that way. First down. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. 12 more yards for him there. It's a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Out of the shotgun, it's McCoy. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. The, 25 yard the success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play call, and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. But they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. This is caught. Gronkowski. And stopped at the three. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And there's a nice catch there by Rob Gronkowski. We all know the story. Came out of retirement, got himself traded to Tampa Bay from New England in order to reconnect with his favorite quarterback. And no one has caught more Tom Brady touchdowns than Gronk, and he expects to add to that total in Tampa Bay. They'll try and run it with McCoy. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. No gain on the play. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends, they're like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. This has not been a fun sequence for him at all. First and goal, no gain. Second and goal, he ends up losing yardage. He may be trying to talk him into getting the ball a third time, but it's going to be difficult for him to win that battle. Brady now on third and goal. And he's got Gronkowski. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Number 87, Rob. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Bucs have taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out again, finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it's all capped off by a Rob Gronkowski touchdown. Bradley Pinion. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. 
fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. And after the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back with them. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. And Dominican Sue with a sack. We've seen that a ton since he entered the league in 2010. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Now this throw caught left side. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Through one quarter, 14-7 our score. The score, Buccaneers 14, Patriots 7. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. From the gun, they run with Michelle. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. A gain of a yard brings up second and nine. At the 40. From the gun, here's Newton. He's got a man complete. It's Julian Edelman. That's good. There's a nice catch there by Julian Edelman, and he's going to be a reliable target no matter who's playing quarterback. Topped 1,000 yards receiving for the third time last season. I just love his story. College quarterback to one of the top slot receivers in the NFL. James White, the ball carrier. William Golston in on the stop. Golston on the tackle. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive, and once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. On second and nine, Newton. It's complete, James White. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And they move this all the way down to the nine. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. How about the first half he's putting together? Well over 100 yards already with that last catch. And to me, they'd be well served to keep looking for big plays already. And that's going to be caught for a Patriot touchdown. Devin Asiasi there to make the grab. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. For the extra point. He was on point throwing the ball right there. He had the big play to get him down close, and then he delivers a touchdown pass on first and goal. And he mentioned the big play that got him down close. I think that big play left him reeling a little bit. They didn't recover from it. And you know they always talk about having to have a short memory on defense after a big play against you? Looks like their memory was a little too long there. And he returns this to the 22. The Bucks take over first and 10. At their own 20. Back now comes Tampa Bay. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. And a nice run past the 30-yard line there. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Eight yards on the pickup. It's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Well, he's broken off some big-time runs here in this first half. Yeah, and let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you've got the plays that are going to work, but when you actually get out there and they're starting to happen, your confidence rises, and he's running with terrific ability right now. First down, Brady. Buying time to his left. The improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. 
Well, it looked like a quick hitter, a three-step drop. But when it's not there, what do you do? He elects to try and escape through the mass of bodies up the middle, and he does so and gets that positive yardage. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Brady gives this one off to Jones. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. Jones, the ball carrier. No gain on the play there. Second down. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really they've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back out. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 17. 16 yards, a first down. First down. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. Tackle made at the 16. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. This will be caught at about the five. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Tom Brady hooking up with Mike Evans there. And the Bucs are going to take the lead. So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Getting set to go again, Mohamed Sanu is marching back. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Four yards to pick up, first down. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Two minutes remaining in this first half for football. A reminder coming up here at halftime. We'll ship you off to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman will have first half highlights and analysis from a back and forth first half that we've seen. Looking for Edelman and he hits him. It's complete. Cam trying to rally his guys to the line as quick as he can. To the right side and he's got Edelman. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Well, we knew he was close to the line of scrimmage, and they say he stepped over. Well, when you see him in that position, you think he's become a runner. As a DB, you start to react towards the line of scrimmage. They can often throw it over your head. Throwing on third down. Newton. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Now the second-year punter, Jake Bailey, on for New England as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. That'll be a 43-yard punt, just a single yard on the return. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. 
The Bucks ready to take over once again. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Going deep this time for Miller. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. He was covered by Stephon Gilmore. Throwing again. Brady. And that's complete. It's Chris Godwin. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots' 45-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Brady now on first down. And he's going to be swallowed up. Sacked back at the 45-yard line. And plays like that really hurt play calling. They had a really nice gain on the previous play, but gave about half the yardage back on the sack. Excellent pressure up front. Nowhere to go with the football. Down he goes. He'll set up the screen to McCoy. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Give him nine yards on the second down screen play. A gain of nine brings up third down. So a third and ten, and defensively, a dime look. Six DBs. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. Intended for Mike Evans. Incomplete. Devin McCourty there defensively. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. He's got Evans. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. So we have reached halftime here with the visiting Buccaneers out on top. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we went in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden, and Charles Davis. Okay, coach, appreciate it. A one touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. This will make it into the end zone, and this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Pats at the line ready to go. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. And they see right through that defensively as he'll be hit and taken down to the backfield. Brought down back at the 32. Single, single, slot, slot. Hey, you're on an island over there. You're on an island. Now on second and 13, Newton to the left side and compare the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third. And there's a catch there by Julian Edelman, and I know the conversation is very big on how much will he miss Tom Brady. 
but Edelman's one of the top slot receivers in the league and an uber competitor. He's going to miss his friend, but he wants to show the rest of the league that his skills transfer no matter who's throwing him the football. It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench, but this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Here comes the Buccaneers offense. They get their first reps of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now throwing on first down and completing it. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he's going to get this one down to the 45. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. And it's picked up by the Patriots. He's at the 30, 10, and he's into the end zone. It's a fumble return and a Patriot touchdown. So they were down by a touchdown, probably just hoping the defense could hold them, maybe force the punt. Instead, they force the turnover and take it into the house. Well, the plan was perfect. That's exactly what they wanted. Instead, they got a lot more than that. Big-time capitalization by taking the ball away and putting it in the end zone. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag. But you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And this will not be fielded. It's a touchback and comes out to the 25. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's Brady to throw. He completes this into the hands of Miller. And they're able to get this one across the 35. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. First down, Buccaneers. They'll run on first down. It's Jones. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 11, and the Bucs have a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Brady's throw there complete and taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. First down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense. In a sense, they've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. Blitz coming, and down he goes. I think Josh Uche has got to be one of the poster guys for perseverance. Remember, he didn't start any games at Michigan in his first three years. But his final year on campus, he showed just how dangerous he could be as a blitzer, as we just saw there. Great speed and athleticism for a linebacker. He's going to be hard to slow down coming off the edge. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride, and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him was like him receiving a baton, and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Brady. A quick pass.
pass here to Godwin. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. And he'll find his way down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, praise has to go to the guys in the offensive line because they've had a very nice, productive day running the football. How about that poor defensive line? They've been knocked around the entire game, and while they slowed them down on that run, can they continue to do so because they haven't had much success throughout this ball game? Throwing on second and eight, Brady. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off with great anticipation. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Take over first. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Again, it's Michelle. And that won't buy him much room. Just a one-yard gain to the five. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. And six. Out of the gun, Newton. He'll fight his tight end here, Asiasi. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good. Well, that'll help get you out of danger. So much for playing it conservatively back towards your own goal line. That aggressive mentality, sometimes you can use it. And they did there against the defense who probably thought to themselves, there's no way they take a shot here this deep in their own territory. Devin White. Not Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Brings up second. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Now a pass dropped off here for James White. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Oh, I came to my feet on that one. I thought he was getting close to breaking that one big, but in the end, give some credit to the defense, finding a way to get to it and forcing a third down. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Now it's Newton. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And oh, he coughed it up, and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And they're going to set up shop at the 27-yard line. Obviously, you got to hold on to the football, but I've got to give credit to the defense there. Good job of knocking it free. Yeah, because a lot of the time we just blame the offensive players for not taking care of it. How about the effort of the defensive players knowing that guys are going to, and if they're good, anticipate the contact coming and try and cover up the football. And they still find ways to knock it free. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. A, gain of a big yards. play there on the catch and run. 59 yards. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Brady now on first down. He finds McCoy. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Bucs capitalize on the short field as they take it in for six. People always talk about one of his biggest strengths running the football vision, and he found the spot there, went into the end zone. You're exactly right about that. It wasn't just the vision, right? Once he saw the gap, decisiveness, made up his mind, and about the power to finish the play. Not only did he get good blocking, he created his own space as well. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a seven-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. 
Newton and the Patriots with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Now second and six at the 29-yard line. A shotgun snap for Newton. And down he goes, a Buccaneer sack. I think it's overstating it to say that he came out of nowhere. But did anyone see 19 and a half sacks coming from Shaq Barrett last year? And even after he became an acknowledged guy that you had to block, he still was able to get to the quarterback. Expects to continue on that level. And there he is, adding to his totals. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. 39 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. Throwing on first down is Brady. His first running back, McCoy. They'll give him eight on the play, and it'll bring up a second down. I got the sense that the defense created a little momentum for him there, didn't they? Did their job, forced the punt. Now, nice start to the drive. Offense has to do their part. Yeah, they certainly do, but what a great start for them. They got to go thank the guys on D. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they turn to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. First down. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run, got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Now he'll throw with Brady. And he'll check this one down to McCoy. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out into some open space. The linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Two yards on the How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what was said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 14 yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Another nice pick up through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Now he's got it. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. Same result as last play, 14 yards and another first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Touchdown, Buccaneers! 
LaShawn McCoy. LaShawn McCoy, his second touchdown of the afternoon as the Buccaneers tack on to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Patriot offense now set to come back out onto the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you've called before, realize it hasn't worked <laughs> Go to so something well, else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And yeah, that is couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Now a man open down the middle of the field. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. They snap it to Newton. Looking for Harry. He airs it out deep. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. By the Buccaneers. Both defenses have had their struggles, but they've been good enough to get them this lead and another nice play there to help preserve the lead. It's been a game of punch-counterpunch, hasn't it? All throughout. But this time, the big swing was taken, and it didn't land. Nice play by them on defense. The throw right side is complete here on the first. Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Complete to number 14, Chris, Chris Godwin. 71 yards, and the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning? Right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Getting set to go again here, Cam Newton marches back onto the field. And that interception that ended their previous drive likely also ended any shot they had a victory. Yeah, long road back from here, no doubt about that one. But let's face it, if you're going to go out there and compete, you want to try and end on a strong note, don't you? Absolutely. It won't end in a victory, like you said, but they can maybe take something positive out of this one. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Devin Asiasi, there. But it's going to be second down. It's now second and 10 at the 25-yard line. Second and 10, Newton again. Trying to squeeze it into Edelman, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Sean Murphy Bunting. And his guys are going to take over at the 31-yard line. Another solid game-changing play for this defense for the interception. At this point, though, I don't know that it's game-changing. I mean, they've got this one controlled. And you always hear about, you know, those stories about someone left their game plan behind and maybe you benefit from it. I'm not going to say that that happened, but they certainly have appeared on defense to be a step ahead this entire game. Guys are always in the right spot in order to make a play. The offense has had its moments, too. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Defensively, they're okay with that. Short little route, tackle him inbounds. Okay. All right, cliche alert. 
it's time for someone to make a play because they've got to have something bigger downfield. They can't just take what they give them. They've got to force it and make something big happen for them. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Ronald Jones with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the interception by the Bucks D leads to a touchdown. And that'll increase their lead to 28. He's having a nice little game. Maybe already has an eye on that third touchdown. And how about what our producer, Christian McLeod, likes to say when they've scored touchdowns like this? He's put a tent up in Touchdown City. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. They're down big here late. I don't know, you just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once we were down huge and someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's get out of here and do something some other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. And four. Now this throw caught left side. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A gain of 13. It's a first down. From the gun, here's Newton. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage, and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through but in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. He was looking for Mohamed Sanu there. That'll bring up second down. To throw again. Newton, throw left side here, taken in by Asiasi, the tight end. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They face a third and four after that last completion gets them six. And he gets it inside the 10 to the nine. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. throwing again and this is going to be intercepted picked up by Jordan Whitehead and he will take this all the way up past the 40 yard line well it wasn't always pretty but the interception there that means that they should get out of here with a victory yeah this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense but they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. Brady on the keeper. A loss of a yard. Brings up second and 11 at the 40-yard line. Today's well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone.
So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we say so long from Foxborough.